Good morning, Westside. It is good to be with you again today. Uh, we are continuing our series of devotionals on the book of Mark, and today I have the opportunity to share my life journal entry from Mark chapter 8, verses 22 through 26. I'll read the scripture and then I'll share my entry with you. Jesus heals a blind man at Bethsaida. They came to Bethsaida, and some people brought a blind man and begged Jesus to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village. When he had spit on the man's eyes and put his hands on him, Jesus asked, Do you see anything? He looked up and said, I see people. They look like trees walking around. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened. His sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Jesus sent him home, saying, Don't even go into the village. For my life journal entry this morning, I wanted to share um, some thoughts about uh, verse 25. Once more, Jesus put his hands on the man's eyes. Then his eyes were opened, his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. As an observation, I write, Some people bring a blind man to Jesus, asking him to heal him. Jesus takes him out of town, spits on his eyes, and asks him if he can see. He is able to see, but not clearly. Jesus touches his eyes again, and the man's eyesight is restored, and he sees clearly. As an application for us today, many commentators agree that this story of Jesus healing the blind man in two phases is strategically placed in the narrative to demonstrate how Jesus was giving spiritual sight to his disciples. The story is sandwiched between instances where Jesus asks the disciples if they are still so blind and lack understanding, and then the pivotal beginning of teaching the disciples that he would soon suffer and die. While the disciples were able to see somewhat of who Jesus is, they didn't see clearly. Much like the man, they needed Jesus to patiently work with them to reveal deeper truth. He had given them some sight but they needed his touch so that their spiritual vision could become more clear. I believe that there are two applications I want to call out for this. First of all, I will personally never see with 100% clarity until I am with Jesus in eternity. Jesus knows this and will continually be patient with me as I grow in him. I can give myself grace in the growing as Jesus gives me grace. Second, I can extend grace to others when my expectations of them are not met. After all, as they are human like me, they also do not see with 100% clarity. And if Jesus is patient with them, I should be as well. This is a challenge for us today. Uh, write a prayer for us, and then we'll go on our way. Father, thank you for your patient approach. You extend grace as you give us sight, helping us to grow and becoming more like you. In our lives where we are blind, open our eyes that we may be called from darkness into your light. Help us to grant grace and patience to others as you have granted it to us. Amen. Hope you all have a great day today. Good rest of your week. Blessings.